Hi guys, welcome to my Q&A with a let's play of Deathless Mode and it's Issa's Act 2, The Sekian Desert. So onto the questions and I'm going from the most recent backwards. So Alvaro Coves Benietto asks if he can upgrade his Dark Fire when he has two Dark Fire gems and a 500 Fire gem. Well, no, <laughs> you can't. You have to use capped gems, capped element gems, and that's the normal are capped at 400, and indoor and outdoor are capped at 750. So your 500 that you probably got from Bael Dragon defeating her um, is a rare fire gem. And so, no, you can't upgrade dark fires with other 1000 dark fires or rare gems. You have to use the cat gems. And Master Chief asks, what will happen if he upgrades his dark fire with uncapped gems? Nothing. It will say to you, you can't fuse the gem in the slot one. So, as I said before, you must use capped element gems to upgrade your dark fire. Leon Voorhees asks whether you can fix the glitch that happened with the one of the updates and it's to do with wreath. Well, yes, he is different now. Um, a lot of people look at my older find and fight wreath video and see that he looks in black with black armor but no he doesn't look like that now for anyone he does look purple <laughs> and yes that was a glitch that happened in one of the updates and I have asked chair about it and when I do they say they're looking at it but so far there's been no change so we just have to get used to his new marshmallow look as someone on Epic Games Forum described him. And the Grey Skyline Gamer asks, how do I get my attack gem so high? And that's because it's a rare green round attack gem. And you make a rare one from a normal, an indoor and an outdoor green attack gem that are all capped. And once you have a rare gem, then you can upgrade the rare gem and you upgrade it with either two normal attack gems that are over 100 or two 250 plus indoor outdoor gems or combination of either and that way you can keep upgrading your attack gem to 25,750 and I have got a video on that I'll put a link to it in the description under this video but to make a rare attack, you need a 200 normal and a 375 outdoor and indoor. And those are the capped levels of those gems. Justin Master 86 is having trouble getting Wreath to appear in Act 5. And I think that's because you've already beaten him with Issa in Act 1. From what you wrote, it sounds like you have. So if you've already beaten him with Issa, then you need to complete Act 5 of normal mode. And once you've beaten the worker, in your next playthrough, don't fight him with Issa. And then when you go to Act 5 with Cyrus, with the Solar Trans equipped beforehand, then you'll find Reef. So I've actually got a video about Reef missing. And how to get him back so again I'll put a link to that video in the description under this one <laughs> okay I'm not making this name up but fat ass <laughs> asks how do you get hexagon gold plus gems at the beginning uh, he's having trouble getting the gold to buy the gold plus gems well I suggest play clash mobs and the arena and that will help you get some gold so that when they do appear you can buy them also you can buy when they appear smaller ones that aren't so expensive and then fuse three of the same kind together and they will go higher 
Sri Yanto Suleiman asks, what happens to the gems that are equipped in your weapon if you lose to the collector? Yes, he keeps the gems and the weapon. However, when you next come across him, if you beat him, then when you get the weapon back, you'll also get the gems back. They'll still be in your weapon. And check out my top tips on how to beat the collector. And again, I've put a link to that in the description under this video. And thanks to all the people that said such nice things to me in my last video with the 20,000 subscriber special. There was very complimentary <laughs> things said so about me and the channel and the videos. So that's really nice. Thank you so much for that. I really do appreciate it. God's Destroyer asks a question about Facebook and logging in through the settings in the game. I don't know the answer to that one. Your best bet is to ask Chair and their helpline is help at infinityblade.com and he's also looking forward to me doing a live stream and yes I will do that very soon probably the next video actually so in a couple of days time I'll put a notice about it on Facebook and Twitter before it happens and also I'll write it in the comments of this video so I had a few questions asking will there be an Infinity Blade 4 well, we don't know. Uh, Chair's next game is Spy Jinx, and they have said that they plan to return to IB in the future, but we don't know when that will be. Cyro is having trouble seeing clash mobs on his map. Um, well, I have got a video about that, how to get clash mobs back, but basically you want to turn on the in-game cloud and then go to the training golem and back again and you should find the clash mobs appear on your map okay somebody called ha ha <laughs> um he is wondering if there's a glitch in his game because he gets rare gems from normal enemies well if you're high level high awakening then yes you can get rare gems like the bonus combo minus one gem or the great parry all gem they can drop and also the collector will give you capped gems uh, when the collector first appeared he did drop rare gems but now he drops capped gems and that's once you've got all the weapons from the collector he will then still appear and give you capped gems I got asked how much does the ancient sword cost well I don't know off the top of my head uh, it's a while ago since I bought it but what you need to do is look in your store or all make sure all or store are selected and then you'll be able to see how much it costs uh, if you have inventory selected then you won't be able to see it Polo Miranda asks, how did I get six dark fires? Well, there's two in the game. Uh, one was a Christmas gift a couple of years ago at the hideout chest. Then there's been two Aegis Tawnies. Or maybe that was three. Three Aegis Tawnies for dark fires. So that's how I got six. And I'm planning to show that actually in a video where... I'm going to give the lowdown on dark fires. Lachlan Jones asks, how do I get the rare dark fire really high? And he saw mine was 128,500. Uh, yes, that's the maximum value that the dark fire can get to. And as I said earlier in this video, you upgrade it with capped element gems. And check out the video I've got on upgrading the dark fire. Mason Guan asks, is the collector male or female? Um, well, I'm pretty sure, well, I'm very sure that the collector is male. Like when he speaks, he's got a male voice. But you've probably seen that he has some of the female ninja moves. 
and that's because he covers all weapon classes for Cyrus and Issa. When he fights with that weapon, he'll use the moves associated with that weapon class. So you can check out the videos I've got on all his different step backs. Polo Miranda asks about how to defeat Pisces and I think the question is asking whether you have to defeat the first dragon before you can get to Pisces and yes that's right you find Baal the first dragon and once you've defeated Baal then you can trigger Pisces by going to the Dark Citadel and then Pisces will start appearing around the world and then you can defeat her and he also asks whether he should sell his stuff or upgrade it when he's mastered his items well my advice definitely is to upgrade it not sell it I only sell duplicates but every time you upgrade then you can remaster the item and the maximum is level 200 so that way with more equipment you'll be able to level up much faster by remastering the equipment and Santiago shall remain anonymous asks why is the Radian Helm so special well it's not so much the qualities of the tawny items it's the fact that you can only get them in Aegis tawnies so that makes them very rare as they only get offered a few times a year and you have to you know get through the tournament before you can get them so that's why they're special it's an achievement <laughs> to have them in your possession but with the Radiant Helm it does have that hexagon slot so that does make it a special piece of equipment anyway and also I particularly like it because it's one of the few items that goes with the Dragor gear apart from the Dragor helmet obviously okay so I'll leave it there and hope you enjoyed this Q&A and as I say I will let you know soon about the time and date of the stream so keep a check on Facebook and Twitter and also the comments under this video where I'll write the date of the stream Thanks for watching Tamil Channel, your favourite channel for Infinity Blade. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe and check out my website and social pages. Thanks, see you next time.